Everyone is talking about 5G these days, from smartphone makers and governments to anti-faxers and conspiracy theorists. But what exactly is 5G? 5G is the fifth generation of wireless technology and it's fast, like 10 times faster than 4G on a good day kind of fast and eventually 100 times faster. For example, you could download movies on Netflix in a blink of an eye. But 5G isn't just about speed, it's also about much lower latency, reliable connectivity and basically the connection of all people, objects and industries. Imagine smart shelves in stores that can tell when stocks are running low and order a new shipment. In factories, hundreds of robots are coordinated by AI and air traffic control systems to manage production schedules, assemble goods and deliver them to customers. Manufacturing systems with sensors that can predict equipment failures and prevent unplanned and costly downtimes. Predictive analytics software that forecast demand for a company's goods to lower the risk of overproduction and storage cost of excess inventories. On the road, we'd have self-driving cars that communicate with each other about traffic jams, weather conditions and road accidents. Meanwhile, intelligent electricity networks balance supply and consumption and identify which pole or tower needs repairing. Of course, 5G also brings with it a couple of concerns. Some are worried about health risks from radiation, including developing cancer or causing infertility. But studies suggest that 5G-associated health risks are no different from previous generations of wireless technology. While it is true that radio frequency radiation has been classified as possibly having the potential to cause cancer by the WHO in 2011, many other everyday food, products and substances also fall into the same category, like pickled vegetables. So while more research would be helpful, there really isn't anything to suggest that people should be overly concerned. Malaysia intends to introduce 5G this year, but the technology isn't going to be mainstream for at least a couple more years. It will take a lot of investments and a lot of time. But once it's fully deployed and utilised, it promises to be life-changing. And that's something everyone is going to want to have. After all, no one wants to go back to this.